Remy Ma is now reacting to her son's arrest, telling TMZ we stand by Jason's innocence and pray that the NYPD will conduct a complete and thorough investigation to reveal the truth. This is undoubtedly the difficult time for my family and me. While we sincerely appreciate the love and support we have received from all of you, we kindly ask for privacy as our legal team works to prove Jason's innocence. Remy Ma's son is being represented by Anthony Duane and Remy says via the law office as his mom, I want to address this situation personally but have been strongly advised by his legal counsel not to say anything as most people in similar situations are informed by their attorneys due to it being an active case. Remy Ma's eldest child and another man are being accused of first degree murder. They are currently in police custody. Law enforcement sources tell TMZ Heeper on June 7, 2021, at approximately 12.58 p.m., police responded to a 911 call of a, male, of a male shot at intersection of 1400 Street and Rockway, Brandy, Queens, New York. Upon arrival, officers say they discovered a man named Darius Gubergs lying on the ground unresponsive with multiple gunshot wounds to the head and chest. We are told EMS responded to the location and transported him to Jamaica Hospital Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. This man has previously been described as an alleged drug kingpin in local reports which covered his death when it first happened. According to law enforcement, Remy's 23-year-old son, Jesse Skirt, was arrested on the Wednesday and charged with first-degree murder in connection to the 2021 killing as he was hit with other charges too, two counts of weapons possession and reckless endangerment. Investigators say they are under belief Jesse and the other men they arrested are responsible for the slaying of this man who is from Queens but are also probing the possibility it was hired heat. TMZ Hip Hop reached out to Scott's lawyer so far now work. Now this is really going crazy, right? This is Remy Mer's son, bruh. And the most crazy part about this whole situation is that the investigators believe that this man actually is a hit man. So I don't understand the fact that your mom is Remy Man and you are being accused of this type of situations. Now, we don't know what happened according to what Remy Ma is saying. She said that she could have addressed the situation herself, but her lawyers told her not to do that because if she actually does that, everything that she said in any video or any stuff like that on social media is going to be used against her son in the court of law because she is the mom. Now, the crazy situation about this whole ordeal is that Remy Ma's son has actually been arrested for this situation with another man. Now, if you are being accused of this type of situation and you are coming from a rich family and stuff like that, what the F do you have to do with the streets? Your mom has a lot of money. She's probably paying you for being her son. She's probably looking out for you, trying to make sure you're in good shape how the F are you involved with a man who could possibly tell you, listen up, let's go commit a crime, let's go kill someone, let's go do this. And uh, law enforcement is accusing you of being a hit man. That's so embarrassing, man. That's embarrassing for your mom. Now, I keep on saying this, bro. Some of these celebrities, some of these rich people, their kids actually turns out to do the worst things that you can ever imagine. Because in this situation, they don't care about the, the reputation of the family. They don't care about the name of the family and stuff like that. Because for you to be mentioned in this situation in the first place, it means that something fishy is really going on, right? And the law enforcement also said that the, the Remy Ma's son is also being accused of other charges against him. I mean, that's crazy, bruh. But at the end of the day, we're going to find out what the truth is. But at the moment, he is still under police custody. I mean, Remy Ma's lawyers are working hard to get him out and prove his innocence and stuff like that. But we are going to find out what's going to happen at the end of the day. I believe in justice. If you do it, you have to, you know, you have to go through whatever that comes 
great, I mean, responsibility, consequences of your actions. I actually believe in that. So killing someone is no joke, bruh. It's no joke. But nowadays, the streets glorify people that kill people. It's crazy.